2013 Ford Focus. We're gonna change out the radio with the Android. The first thing you're gonna do is that there is a small panel you're gonna remove. So this panel comes out. And there should be two torque number 20 screws. Face comes out. This is just a control. This is not the actual radio. This is just a control panel. Disconnect them. The actual CD tuner is right here. Uh, held on with screws here. And bus. All these connections are plugged in directly on the back of the radio. The microphone, some trims. This is the radio. So this is the uh, the radio. Right, just test fit. Make sure it fits. Obviously, transfer all the air vent and switches on here. This just plugs in. That should be enough to just test it out. radio did not have a constant the yellow wire did not have a power I'm gonna show you where the power is okay this is passenger side under the glove box is the fuse box underneath this fuse is missing which is F79 that's supposed to be a radio constant power so I'm just gonna put 20 amp fuse in there so that should give me power now. Where did it come from? So I do have power on both sides. I don't know why they took it out. It comes back on. So we can go into the system settings. In fact, car settings. So go into the factory settings here. Usually 8888 is the code. Then we go into the canvas settings. So from here, you gotta choose which car you have. This is Ford Focus. What's that? Update. No network. Gonna have to uh, connect the Wi-Fi in order to update the uh, canvas. How about Android, Android, Android settings? Go to settings. Okay, okay. network. Wi 
Wi-Fi. I tried to connect Wi-Fi, but for some reason it doesn't show any Wi-Fi. But since it has the manual heater control, we don't care. So the back of cam. Cam works. The radio seems to be working. If the Wi Fi works, you go into Android settings, you click on Wi Fi, open hotspot, connect the Wi Fi, then you can go back out to the factory settings 88, no, 8888, then hit OK. And under CAN bus settings, the module is named, which is this one here, High World. Then you choose whatever the vehicle you have, you hit update. But this one does not have a Wi Fi, so no network cannot be connected. So once you have a Wi Fi connected, hit update and hit confirm. Then it's going to load new firmware for whatever the car you have. But it doesn't work because the Wi-Fi doesn't work, so we don't care about that. The radio works, backup cam works, CarPlay should work. Thank mm -hmm. you. 